that makes people so angry about all of this, I went down to try and figure out what they were up to. And I got down to the Guidestones. Now, they're just sitting on a little dirt road there in Elberton, Georgia. They weren't much to look at from the road, but I found they had some curious anomalies. So I pulled up and gave it a look. There were certainly curious features to this thing, and I started thinking maybe there was more to it. So I gave it the once-over. Now the first thing I noticed was that the guidestones were surrounded by holly wood, or holly plants. And this is a Celtic symbol of death and resurrection. And I found this symbol popping up often, as you will see throughout this talk. I happened to notice that the uh, Georgia Guidestones were created on March 22nd, which just happens to equal 322, which is the number of the Skull and Bones Society. And these Guidestones are put into eight different languages. And what you will find is that <coughs> language has frequency. So when you look at a, a language, you have to see it hieroglyphically and also archetypically. It is not simply a language, but a method that has been crafted by these magicians to express numbers, symbols, and ideas. They aren't simple words. And the very tones that are emanated, the very frequencies that the, Egypt, uh, that the language creates has secret and hidden powers. Now notice the Egyptian hieroglyphs. I see a flying saucer and then an owl. I find that rather curious. But also the ancient Sumerian Babylonian form is represented on these guide stones. So could it be that there is more to this thing? Well, let's keep looking. Now I kept noticing that there were these stains around each of the the stones, and I, I really wondered what that was. Well, my answer came uh, in the form of an email. Well, now we know how the common man feels about the guide stones. But why are they so mad? Well, let's see what these things say. Maintain human humanity under 500 million people. Well, that's a lot of people missing. Guide reproduction wisely? Hmm. Uh, unite humanity with a living new language. Or creating a world court to resolve interna international laws. This thing seemed to be uh, ideas that could be okay if it weren't for the fact that we're being ruled by sorcerers. Now I noticed that it said leave room for nature, leave room for nature. And that this Guidestone was also astronomically aligned, set up to watch the sun and other astronomical features. But I found this curious, that if they were so involved and so curious about the time, and what it was that perhaps they were thinking about. Because here we have all the astronomical features, the sponsor of a small group of men, but they placed this time capsule to be opened on when? The end of time, perhaps. 